I don't have the greatest pair of binoculars and I had it set up to look quite a bit further than what we had it set up to, but even looking through the binoculars, it didn't look right. It wasn't a bear. I'm not going to say what it was. Besides its appearance, what about its behavior that screamed to you, not a bear? It had human-like behavior. It, the way it was standing, the way it had its arms up in the air, it, bears don't do that. Maybe in the circus, I don't know, but bears in the wild, they don't do that. And bears usually turn around and go the opposite direction. They don't go towards you. And it was walking towards us. Full stride walking towards us. So now about four or five seconds have gone by and he, he's getting tighter on the trigger, I'm guessing, by the way. Oh yeah, he's slowly squeezing, getting ready to let go. Yeah, absolutely. And what are you saying to him? The whole time it was, don't shoot. That's, that's all it was the whole time, telling him not to shoot. It's not a good idea. And this is all, yeah, within five seconds. And then there was no convincing him at that point, just as much as there probably would have been no convincing me at that point, because he had the rifle. If I had the rifle, I would have probably done the same thing. Can you walk me through the next, uh, I'm assuming it's about 10 seconds between that point and the point of the trigger being pulled. Can you walk me through it's that? It's probably only 12 seconds between the point where we came around the corner and I stopped my car and he pulled the trigger. Like it was 12 seconds the entire time, maybe 10, I don't know. It doesn't take very long. If you wait any longer, you're gonna miss the shot. And for us to drive that far and go home with nothing sucks. We do it all the time, but yeah, and it's almost dark, you pull the trigger, you, you make it happen. You don't miss a shot because you're trying to figure it out. So five seconds in, you know he's, he's pulling the trigger. You pretty much are assuming that. I was surprised he hadn't already pulled the trigger. Like, he doesn't wait that long. Like, so maybe that's where he was realizing something was a little off, I don't know, but it usually doesn't take five seconds for either of us. It's usually a lot faster than that. So the trigger's pulled and you get the big boom. What happens after that? I am still looking through the binoculars at that point when the trigger gets pulled. I didn't even put him down. I couldn't stop looking. And I saw where he hit it. It was a fantastic shot. And I just remember seeing the way that the ripples in the skin and the body had like a concussion to it because I was staring so intently at it. It was, it was intense. It would be like throwing a baseball and a bowl of jello, the way the body shook when he hit it. It was pretty cool to watch, actually, yeah. which people can say that's fucked up. I don't care. It was pretty fucking awesome.